I'm Chef Sawyer and you're about to witness the most gourmet video of all time. Let's get started. Today we're making loaded Chick-fil-A waffle fries. And that's going to start with my favorite sauce. It's going to be a garlic parmesan. In order to make a delicious garlic parm sauce, take some butter, melt it down, take some garlic, crush it in there. I like a lot of garlic. You can do it how you like. Boom! All right, we got our melted butter. We got plenty of garlic in there. The smell, outrageous. Let the garlic and the butter get to know each other and just simmer on a low heat. And this is gonna be a delicious sauce on our loaded fries. Get your platter. Put those french fries right on there. Spread them out. We need a, a good surface area so every fry can get crispy and cheesy and good and gooey and deliciousness. We got our Chick-fil-A fries. Here's our Chick-fil-A mac and cheese. You heard me right. Chick-fil-A fries, Chick-fil-A mac and cheese, right on the top. Perfect. Next step, copious amounts of cheese. Cheddar cheese is good. Mozzarella is good. Cheese sauce, beer cheese sauce. Whatever you want to add on top of your loaded fries, just make sure there's a lot of it and it's nice and cheesy and fully covered just like this. Everybody knows loaded french fries some people call them mega fries. They have a couple of things that are always consistent. You got cheese on there, and you definitely got some of this. You probably could have guessed this next ingredient. Crispy, crunchy, crumbled bacon. Crispy, crunchy, crumbled bacon right on the top of our Chick-fil-A loaded waffle fries. Does that look good or does that look good? Pop it right into a 400 degree oven so your cheese can melt and your fries and your bacon can get nice and crispy. Green onion for garnish on top. Just go ahead and give it that slice on the bias. So you have these beautiful looking parallelogram type shape scallions. And that should be plenty. So go ahead and reserve that in a bowl. This is just our garnish. Our garlic and our butter have been cooking on a low heat for a couple minutes. It's nice and crispy, perfectly tasting. And this is where we get fancy. Boom. Into the garlic butter with our Chick-fil-A nuggets. This is where our Parmesan comes into play. Parmigiano Reggiano on the Chick-fil-A nuggets. Boom. We got garlic. We got butter. We got Parmigiano Reggiano. And it doesn't get any better than that. Give that all a good shake. Let that deliciousness get to know itself. We have our beautiful nugs here. And now let's plate up. Oh my gosh. Does this look good? Does this smell good? We got crispy little bits of cheese around the edges. We got ooey gooey melty cheese, crispy crunchy bacon. We got mac and cheese on there. We got these beautiful crunchy waffle fries. And now it's time to garnish with our garlic parm nuggets. Sprinkle on our scallions, our chopped green onions. A little bit of more Parmigiano Reggiano on the top just because we're feeling extra fancy today. And there is no better sauce to accompany this meal than some of the good old Chick-fil-A ranch. The garden herb ranch is delicious and it's a perfect pairing with these loaded garlic parm mac and cheese Chick-fil-A mega fry extravaganza. If you heard they were serving this at a party and your worst enemy in the entire world was at the party, you would still go just to eat this. We got the crispy crunchy fries, the ooey gooey cheese and the mac and cheese in there. It's so tough to get a little bit of everything. We got some bacon. Let's throw a nug on there just for some fun. And this is the ultimate bite. There's about 15 unnecessary ingredients on my fork, but why do we do it? Because it's so good. Mm. My goodness. I'm gonna be straight up with you people. The total amount of ingredients here, everything included, cost me about $20. This platter feeds at least three people. I threw it together so quick, the flavors are unbelievable, and I highly, highly recommend you make this one at home. How can you beat that? Every single get together in the entire world that's serving food is jealous of me because what I hold in my hands. Thank you so very much to everybody for joining me today on my gourmet special, the Chick-fil-A Mega Fries. I'm thankful to have each and every one of you coming back week after week to support me. 
It means a lot, and I am so grateful for everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next week. Cut.